Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. Continuing our coverage of brand new Android 5.0 Lollipop features. And this time we want to show you something called screen pinning, which is new. So uh, basically you go into settings and uh, we're going to scroll down to security. And then all the way down at the bottom, you should now see an option that says screen pinning. So the idea behind screen pinning is you want to share something on your phone with a friend or coworker or family member, whatever. You want to share it with somebody, but you don't necessarily want them diving around in your phone. You just kind of want them to stay locked on that screen. That's what screen pinning is. So if we go ahead and toggle that on, I'll show you how this works. So if I were to pull up an app, like let's say ESPN Sports Center app. So I pull this up. And uh, let's say I want to share uh, these highlights. So with screen pinning activated, I hit the app switcher button and kind of do this scroll up. And you should now see this little pin icon. So I can tap that and it says, do you want to use screen pinning and screen pinning um, locks the display in a single view? So you say, yeah, I do. So I hit start and you can see my uh, status bar goes away. And if I hit home, it won't take me out of there. Um, but they can scroll around and actually use the screen that you have up. Now, if you want to get out of that screen, you do a sort of two finger press on back in the app switcher and hold for a second and then it takes you out. And so you can see I've got my status bar back now and I can go ahead and hit home. Uh, so this works for just about any screen. So let me just swipe that away. And you can see even in my settings menu, I could pin the uh, that settings screen. And so we'll start. And so now you can see status bar goes away and I'm in the screen the screen pinning section um, and there's no way for them to really get out of there. Um, they can just sort of go within that app. They can't actually get all the way back home or open any other apps or anything like that. So just a quick uh, tutorial of screen pinning. And again, this will just continue to work. You can see Instagram there has it. Um, I could do Google Play. So you can pin all these things. But again, to access those, you just hit your recent apps button, sort of do a little scroll up, and then you should see that little pin icon. That's how you do it. So that's screen pinning new feature in Android 5.0. Got more stuff coming. Droid Life, peace.